modern day you will not see where you'll see both on a flag mm -hmm. because what it shows you is that they're dealing in corporations the corporations deal in what colors only yes plus we have a mound these are all three-dimensional objects mm -hmm. so the ones so all these people who do their numerology and all that stuff when they see that they know what this means this is the flag of, of a race of people and the descendants of a race of people who are flesh and blood and existed Osiris existed asset existed because they found Osiris's tomb Mm -hmm. Horus existed. That means all the other deities, Tihuti, um, uh, Geb, Nut, Amun Re, uh, Sachmet, Hapar, Bes, Tar, Bast, I am Hotep, um, Mary, uh, Kabisinu, Tawaret, <laughs> Taur they all existed. Mm -hmm. So the, all these other groups are having mostly men. And you don't find a lot of women out there. And there are knowledgeable sisters out there, but some of them, due to logic, are just like they're not going to get with that because they don't get the equal opportunity. So therefore, there is this hatred toward the Nubian woman. And the fact is, the Nubian woman, and when I say Nubian woman, I mean Nubian women who are conducting themselves like they know they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Those Nubian women are the ones who know to take the lead. They know that they have to support something. They see when an event or something happens. That's why the church took full advantage of the Nubian women. Who is the backbone of the churches? Yeah. The Nubian women. Yes, indeed. You came up here. This is the second time you've been up here. I've known people who I've spoken with who asked if they could come up to see message. Sure, come on. They never came. You've came up twice already. The first interview that you did with me ended up in Russia. Female energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You cannot and will not go forward without the female. I don't care who it is. You're mm -hmm. not going to go forward. You have to have the female energy. On one side, you could call this the negative. This is the positive. Every battery that is out there has a negative and a positive terminal. If there's not a negative and there's not a positive or it's two double negatives or two positives, it will not work. Mm -hmm. I want to um, ask you, what what is a plenipotentiary? I'm going to switch gears for a, a second here. A plenipotentiary, if you look up in the Black's Law, is someone who has supreme will, supreme authority. So when you began your, uh, this in this interview, talking about authority, there is no authority here on Turtle Island, aside from myself, there isn't. If you're talking about corporate authority with what they're doing, that's not even authority, that's all fraudulent because they don't exist. Mm -hmm. Right? They've put a lot of uh, effort and a lot of attention and a lot of resources into stopping me from speaking. Mm -hmm. That tells you, and it is a confession, that what I say is the truth. If it wasn't, they could just simply ignore me if they're that powerful. Mm -hmm. So they obviously are not that powerful because they're turning around and jamming our communications. We can't use Skype. We can't, if we go on Facebook sometimes, they'll block the results and the comments that we're getting from people. They're doing all this. So mm -hmm. this is what a plenty potentiary did. I voided out the Papal Bull of 1492. That is something that every Moor, every indigenous person should have been talking about. Instead, the ones who know are hiding it from their people because they want their people to keep coming back so they can keep feeding off of them. They keep that, they know about it, but they keep that to the side. And I'm the one who faxed Ali Muhammad. I'm the one who faxed Aboriginal Law Firm. I faxed Moor Science Temple. I gave thanks to Sheikh Lavelle. He didn't even acknowledge me. So I was like, okay, you guys aren't about freedom. You're about slavery. Mm -hmm. And I'll state that they are not about freedom. If you are about freedom, that puts you outside the matrix to form your own system. They're not talking about getting outside the system, not even at these debates. They may say that, but they don't actually do what is necessary. Did you notify the Queen or Elizabeth? Mm -hmm. No. Did you contact the Vatican? No. Did you contact the Knights Templar? Did you put... No, they didn't put any of that stuff out there. Mm -hmm. So that means you're not trying to free your people. 
what you're trying to do is you want your you want your business customers protected so you make a deal with Massa so he won't mess with them because you're living off of that and giving him payoff mm -hmm. so in exchange for that they will say okay we'll acknowledge you as a leader because you're not trying to get them away from us fine as soon as you start talking about getting out their system and doing your own thing building your own structures the way you want whether you want to use a pyramid whether you want to do an obelisk whether you want to do a uh, a spherical home all of a sudden that's it they have a problem with you so therefore it proves the point that it is white supremacy mm -hmm. this is the war that is the war, hidden war that people that is ongoing that Nubians don't want to see but they know what's happening and don't want to address that yeah and that's why I give much honor to Dr. Sebi for stating who he can't, went to. He went to Jesse Jackson, they refused him. He went to Al Sharpton, he refused him. He went to Oprah, she refused him. He went to Maya Angelou, she put his papers to the side. So I say these are house Negroes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to call a spade a spade. If you are not about trying to get out of this system, because you can watch people who come to, whether it's up here in Canada or even down south of the 49. Right, because we know Canada and the U.S. are in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is Northern Turtle Island. You came from Southern Turtle Island, Atlantic Mulan. You see how the but the corporations are still uh, conducting that. That's that will change shortly. People come over here. You see how this system manipulates them and seduces them out of their culture. Mm -hmm. And they had an innocence and an integrity about yes. them. When they, and after living here, it changes because this is the environment with, in which they live. So then some of them will leave their traditional dress, leave yes. their traditional culture, and that's it. Now they assimilate into this culture. Now, which is not really a culture, it's more or basically the best way to describe North America, it is not a culture, it is a giant stage play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a monopoly game, and if you want to exist, you have to play the game the way they want. So that means you now, you go from being real to the unreal. Yeah, you have to dress up a certain way, you have to play a certain character, whether it be the coon or the mammy or the Uncle Tom that's the only characters you're allowed to play you're not allowed to be uh, an individual uh, authentic of something from out of this world <laughs> you know original they don't honor that they no. don't they don't want to give that type of person any kind of airplay on TV they don't want to pay those kind of people because it only exemplifies the fact that there is real and that they are fake. Correct. Mm-hmm. Um, you exported the U.S., Canada, and Mexico into the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Can you explain what an export declaration is? Uh, anytime you have any property that you're taking to another country, it no longer will be under U.S. jurisdiction, so you have to fill out a form called it, uh, it's a 7525B. And once you fill that form out, that shows that this uh, property, car, or what have you, is going to another jurisdiction. Once that's done, they take it out the U.S. system and it's no longer theirs. So it doesn't fall under their authority or jurisdiction. So the lien that we have on the White House, plus some registrations that we had, uh, were exported. Uh, we went down, uh, and when it was published, uh, we published it, but it, we went down to the um, post office. The matriarch of our nation was the one who did it, and she signed off on it because nothing moves without a signature. No piece of paper in commerce can move without a signature. Mm -hmm. When you make a request for something, what do you have to do? Sign. And your signature is your, that is what your value is, is your signature. That's why it's important to have a UCC, one financing statement, where you can protect your signature as part of your intellectual property, and that also falls under the wipo Burn Convention of 1989. Exactly. People want your signature, they need to accept all that comes with it. The matriarch um, is the only person who no, has... No, not person. Excuse me. 
and she is the only indigenous woman outside of Sacagawea. Since Sacagawea became a postmaster, that's why she ended up on the uh, dollar coin because she signed a post-it stamp over, uh, by a letter that Lewis and Clark had gotten from the government. So when she signed over it, she became a postmaster, a banker, and a judge. So all those claiming that they are indigenous should be getting the $1 Sacagawea coins and just keeping it on them as evidence of their indigenous standing. And Diani, the matriarch of our nation, is the only one since Sacagawea that has her own postage stamps. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just like Elizabeth II, who happens to be a fraud, has her own postage stamps, the matriarch, Diani Najibe, has her own postage stamps. This is what being a creditor is about. This is what being a master is about. This is what being a deity is about. Correct. And, can and Canada Post is the one that produces it. So mm -hmm. they already know who we are. Mm -hmm. So when they want to say at Sakata Nation of Yamasee Moors, that we're, you know, we're fake, we're this, oh no, we have our own postage stamp. Where's y'all's postage stamps? <laughs> uh, and we will be getting into the silver as well. So they don't have to worry about that. We will be issuing our own currency and our own silver. They don't have to worry about that. But most of the people that are complaining are chattel property in the United States. So they belong to them. Run by government. Will you define government? Government means to direct as in a ship. Mm -hmm. So it's not uh, a representative, it is an overseer. Mm -hmm. Notice how these terms are slavery terms. So I don't get mad at the Jews in Hollywood for remaking and consistently making these movies. As long as the movies make money, they don't care. And if the public really doesn't like it, they should say something. You don't see Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, you don't see uh, NAACP, how come they're not complaining about these slave movies? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because Jesse Jackson, we know, set up Martin Luther King. We know Al Sharpton is still an agent for the FBI. You don't leave them. Mm -hmm. And we know that NAACP is controlled by the Jews. So they told them, they gave them their instructions, this movie's coming out, you keep your mouth shut. And we've talked uh, on the last interview uh, touched on how the Jews are running um, mostly a lot of the uh, mostly everything here on this planet but as Karen Huda stated even they have to answer to an extraterrestrial force correct mm -hmm. so Is there anything else that you would like to expound on Karen Huda's statement? Uh, well, she, th th they're going to have to come clean that there's uh, beings that have been here walking around passing themselves off as human. That's, uh, that's irrelevant, um, inevitable rather. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. And the fact that she said a secondary race is uh, doing this is because she had bought a bond from the World Bank and it wasn't cash. She went to cash it when she got fired. They wouldn't cash it, and then she turned around and she sued the government and won. However, the payment is being held up by who? Eric Holder. Mm -hmm. So again, who's Eric Holder taking his orders from? The Jews. Who's Barack Obama taking his orders from? The Jews. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is the synagogue of Satan. Nobody is talking about that because Jews do not consider themselves white. White people do not consider Jews white. No. So therefore, if that's the case, why is it that, again, no one is talking about this? These Jews are telling you Israel is admitting they are breaking international law by kidnapping Ethiopian children and draining their blood. No one wants to talk about that. And they do it in the synagogues. Mm -hmm. They're not hiding it. Mm -hmm. That's what was so beautiful about the Rabbi Finkelstein interview. He's like, look, we're telling you outright what we're doing and you guys aren't saying anything, so that's your problem. Mm -hmm. So when Dr. Cress Welsing states, look, any black person or white person that does not want to talk about white supremacy hates black people because 
all you have to do is ask them, do you want your children to be colored? They will say no. So therefore, you have to do this in order to survive. Yet, the, the physicist over here just stated the obvious. Mm -hmm. Right here on the, on the uh, shot that you just showed. Yes. So the reality is what? They have no other alternative. But they have to come to the black woman. So, you know, for the people who don't like the interracial couples, really see sisters walking with these white guys and said they know what you guys don't know. And they're doing it for what? Survival. Genetic survival. Correct. Which is why they're even going as far as mixing with animals, creating cyborgs. You don't see Nubians feeling a need to go into a lab and 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 do this kind of research and make these alternate forms of creation i mean that's just a fact so therefore whoever is doing it has a fear of the inevitable which is annihilation this is mandated by who mother nature and if they were meant to be on the planet they wouldn't have to be doing gmo they wouldn't have to be doing genetic splicing they wouldn't have to be doing all sorts of uh, gene uh, manipulation and manipulation of DNA, they wouldn't have to. So that tells you what's black is white and what's white is black. <laughs> yes. Um, switch topics here as we close out. We just had June 19th, Juneteenth. Um, some people say that's not a date to really celebrate. I was seeing some of that on Facebook. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Well, again, the same thing is, uh, it's up before the, the summer solstice, which is today. And that's why today will be the longest day. It'll be 17 hours of sunlight today. Mm -hmm. So that's the summer solstice. So this is the time to get in tune with the ancestors. However, most Nubians have been cut off from that, and plus they've also had bad experiences with their ancestors because of the perpetual Willie Lynch, divide and conquer, self-hatred that has been put on them 24-7. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, uh, any celebration that uh, Nubians are celebrating, they need to pay close attention to who created it, when it was created, and why. And the, the Juneteenth, again, to my personal thought on, on it is unless it's going to bring up and create some kind of change, there's no point in celebrating it because that means the only one who's profiting off of it will be the corporations. Mm -hmm. And if it's a money, if it's a holiday in some, for the purposes of spending money, then the corporations are the ones that are going to be profiting off of it. You break this down so well, you know, we live in a world of illusions and what this information is doing is pretty much cracking it wide open and exposing the limited, limitless, excuse me, possibilities in existence. Um, we saw Transcendence yesterday, a movie with Johnny Depp where uh, he basically said, you know, I don't have to fight them, I'm going to transcend them. He was healing people for free, you know, wasn't concerned about any monetary system. He wanted fresh waters. He could regrow plants and trees and all kinds of life. Why, why was that not accepted in the movie? Why were people not accepted? It's like there needs to be war. Will you go into that? Well, th this, is, um, this is the reason why when you see that, what's the, and you're asking why, it's no different now, right? Mm -hmm. it's, no, it's no different now. What it means is this, that art imitates life, life imitates art. So if they don't like clean air, they don't like clean uh, housing, they don't like clean water, they don't like the fact that you can get healed and you don't have to see a doctor, you don't have to take any pills, that puts less of a stress but the people are so programmed that if you don't go to a doctor you don't take pills you don't do what everybody else is doing 
then A, something's wrong with you, and B, that can't be right. It can't be that perfect. We can't live in a perfect world like that. Yet, everyone will say they will trust the computer. If the screen says you have this much in your account, they'll say, well, that's what the computer says. The computer is never wrong. The computer is nothing more than a mirror. Mm -hmm. And how you program the mirror, how you perceive the mirror, is what it is going to show you. So when you become a mirror to people, they have a tendency not to like you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is, the, that is the, the reality of it. Yet they will say they want freedom. They'll say they want, oh, somebody's got to do something about this. Why are we having all these wars? You tell them, the U.S. system, which is uh, operating underneath the Vatican, they must have war. They have to create an enemy to justify their existence. Mm -hmm. If there's no war, there's going to be peace. If there's no peace, there will be advancement. Why would you fight somebody? For what? Not to the point, that, and it will even be, you might fight somebody, but not to the point of death. Here, death means nothing in the Western world. They don't care about that. They show it every day. People are numb to it, oblivious to it water off their back. Mm -hmm. You watch the movie The Matrix and one of the secrets that Agent Smith said, you know, if we all uh, have, um, we all must have a purpose. Right. Because if you have no purpose, then you would not exist. So they have to have war. They like war. They like confrontation. That's why the debate that they're having tomorrow in Harlem, I'm like, why oh, the, the debate mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. Islam, religion. So it tells you these guys are locked into noun, person, place, thing. They're in mm -hmm. that pyramid. Mm -hmm. Because they're not talking outside the pyramid. Now you get into Q. Mm -hmm. They are supposed to be talking, okay, what are we going to do about the fact that they turned around and they voided out the Constitution? What are we going to do about the fact if you collect Federal Reserve notes and you claim constitutional rights, you're committing treason? Not only are you committing treason by against the Constitution that they're wanting to invoke, you're committing treason against the Federal Reserve Bank because you're contracting with them with that. Mm -hmm. We notified the Federal Reserve. I put the facts out there to Ben Bernanke. It's on my notes on Facebook, CIA. FBI, RCMP, they all know about it. What are they saying? Nothing, because they're bound to it. So now they're realizing, I'm not really your enemy. If anything, I'm your ally. Mm -hmm. Because when that money tanks on everybody, and it is because a Canadian billionaire said the U.S. dollar is going to tank, mm -hmm. what is going to happen? Bank accounts will disappear instantly. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. if they stay there, the hypothecation for food, uh, for uh, employment, for um, for products, for supplies, it's going to go up. That if the what their bank account used to purchase won't purchase as much. Right, and some people would just be. Well, I only say some. A lot of people identify so much with their money and what it can buy that their minds can't even think outside of it. It's almost as if their money, if their money doesn't exist, then they themselves don't exist. Yes. So therefore, that's what they're really worshiping. So be honest. Say you be worship, honest. Say you worship the dollar. Yes. Say that. You, to the point where you think your God is worshiping the dollar and he needs your dollars. You know your mind is so far gone when you think that God needs your money. <laughs> exactly. And so <clears throat> so this is the reason uh, why that is, is what it is. So people worship it and they will be bound by it and because it's such a because it's such a web, this is what happens. So you know I just want to give an acknowledgement uh, to the ancestors, seen and unseen, for assisting us in having this interview done. I also want to give gratitude and an acknowledgement to all the indigenous peoples who are asserting their indigenous rights the world over. And um, I just want a special triple, nine times of appreciation to the sister Sasset Towerette for handling the camera and doing a second interview, a third interview, <laughs> as many in less than two interviews in less than a week. And uh, see everybody up on uh, Facebook and worldwide. Hotel. Right before you said hotel, let's stop. <laughs> so that was great.
Because now the what happened? What did he say? <laughs> he just said hotel. <laughs> Oh, buddy. <laughs> and the only thing I'm be inhaling. That was awesome. I have my questions ready, right? Bam, bam, bam. Yeah. That is perfect. And you just hit, bam, hit, hit. And that's why I said when you did that, or you did the coin. And you're like, well, why is it? And I was like, okay, well, this is the reason why. He said, we're the only one that has a female. Now, when women see this, they're going to say, yeah, where is, okay, we got the man and the woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're about people. He said, all you see are colors. We have writing, we have the circle, we have the, the, um, the uh, mound. Where nobody else is doing a flag like this. That's why it makes it difficult. Not so much, the, well, difficult to copy, but then when people look at it, they're like, oh, this is the real deal. No capstone, so it's not slavery. Well, I gave you two, right? Mm -hmm. So I gotta give you one more. Hold oh, on, let me close the mirror because we got these beatniks. <laughs> Keep finding biz, please. Yeah. 